everybody and welcome to my third video post. What I'm talking about today is training efficiency. A lot of people come to me and clients saying they haven't got time to train or they've only got half hours of time to train. So my go-to exercise currently is what we call density training. Density training is basically two, well, three exercises done in a circular fashion for an amount of time. Normally from anywhere from five minutes to a maximum of ten minutes. So you pick an upper body exercise a lower body exercise and a core exercise and then run together in a circuit fashion continue, continually for the length of time and then every week you add on a minute to it or you start at 5 minutes, next week you do 6 minutes, week after 7 minutes, so on and so forth up to 10 minutes. So what I'm going to take you through now is a little mini one, about 2 or 3 minutes of how I do it. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to do a goblet squat, a band press up and a rolling plank. The weights, you should choose the weights here, you should choose something that you can do 12 reps which is max on. And only do it between for about 4 and 6 reps. So repeat, do, pick a weight, you can do 12 times max, but you only do it for 4 to 6 reps. And you do it continually for a set period of time. So, I'm going to be performing now for 2 or 3 minutes now to show you the idea of it. And then I'm going to show you another form of training afterwards, another form of density circuit afterwards. And then we're going to finish off on a metabolic circuit as well, quickly to finish off. Okay, here we go. Put it down. Two minutes down, go for more circuit. <coughs> right, now for three minutes. Ordinarily, you could do at least six minutes and progress to ten. You would then take 
three minute rest break, and then perform another one. And what we do is we're going to change it around. So what I'm going to do now, we always like to do a single leg exercise on the train as well. So we're going to do a split squat, followed by a row, followed by a fold up. So maybe lower body, then an upper body, then a core exercise. So we're going to do it for two or three minutes as well. I'm sure everyone can have a breath up from over there, but we're going to go for it, we're going to go for it anyway, okay? Right, we're going to go in 10 seconds. Again, it'll be six reps. 12 repetition max. That's the weight you choose. You pull for four to six reps. Here we go. One last circuit, so two minutes. I don't know, just over three minutes that was. So all you do then to train for, again, recapping, is to do a lot of exercise in a very short space of time. So if you do that for six minutes, start off with the rest of ten, you're going to cover a lot of exercise, again, in a short space of time, and get it all covered. And what we're trying to do there, just create lean mass while burning fat. All we need now is it, I'll say you need, you need 10 minutes, that's still 20 minutes. So we've got another 10 minutes left of a half hour workout potentially. So if you finish off some metabolic work, send a bit more faster, so you get even more out of breath, get a bit more sweat on, burn some more fat, etc. So what we do here is just an example of a metabolic circuit. We've all got a set up here with a battle rope and a kettlebell. And three main formats would be a good example, good for them for time to do it. But 15 on, 15 off. So a 15 second work period followed by a 15 second rest period. 
for a batter bat rope first, 15 seconds, resting, then a kettlebell swing, resting, back to the batter rope for the four minutes. You'll do it eight times in total. I'm just going to show you for two minutes. Here we go. Swing. Make sure your kit is obviously already set up so you're running around trying to get it and wasting your rest of your potential kit. Four, three, two, one, go! Minute down, we do one more. Ordinarily, I want to do three more. Four, three, two, one, go. Three, two, one. 15 seconds, last set. That completes a little circuit. So what we've got done, going to repeat again. What we've covered there is two density training circuits. One was a goblet squat, followed by a band presser, followed by a rolling plank. The second was a split squat. So I always like trying to get some sort of single leg training involved, involved every time I train. Very beneficial for you. Followed by a suspension row, followed by a fall out. And to finish off some metabolic work, battle row, 15 seconds on, 15 seconds rest, followed by a kettlebell swing. Do that for four minutes. You can do that to maybe two sets that if you wanted, time's there for you. Roll with it, have, see how you go with it, roll with it, see what you think. Let me know any questions, just Facebook me. Hope you enjoy what I've posted here. Don't forget to please like and share my page. Thank you for watching.